Hello friends, from this video tutorial, we are going learn, how can we make student attendance management system in PHP using Ajax. First we are going to discuss, admin side of the system, so here we can see working folder of the system, here we have already make admin folder, for admin side area. Here first we want to make login page, for get access into admin area. This is attendance database, and here we have one admin table, with three table column like, admin ID, admin username and admin password. Here, we have already insert one record of, with admin as username and in password we have enter password in hash format. Now we start write code, so first here we want to make database connection, for this we have open database connection.php file, and under this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to, nuke to class, with three argument like mysql host set to local host, database name set to attendance, username set to root and password set to blank. After making database connection, here we have write dollar base URL variable is equal to localhost slash tutorial slash working folder name. So here we have store base URL of the system under this variable. Now we have go to login.php file. And here first we have write include statement with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write session start function, it will start session variable on this page. After this we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar session admin id variable if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write header function and under this we have write location set to index.php it will redirect page to index.php so Suppose admin already login, then he try to access this login page, then page will redirect to index page. Now we want to make login form, so here we have write form tag with method is equal to post, and id is equal to admin login form. Under this form, First we have write input type is equal to text, name, and is equal to admin user name, under this tag user can enter user name. For display, this text box validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to, error admin user name, under this we will display user name validation error. Same way for enter password details, here we have write, input type is equal to password, name, and id is equal to admin password. Below this, here we have create span tag with id is equal to, error admin password, under this we will display password field validation error. For submit login form details, here we have write, input type is equal to submit, name and id is equal to admin login, and value is equal to login, by click on this button user can submit his login details. 
Here we have use Ajax for validate login form details, so here we have write dollar with form ID admin login form with on method, under this we have write submit event, so when form data has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this we have write, event.prevent default method, it will stop to submit form data to server. Now we have start write ajax request, so in first option we have write, check admin login.php file, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write, method which has been set to post, so here it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write dollar this with serialize method, it will convert form data into URL encoded string. In fourth option, we have write data type and here we have write json, by using this option we can define in which data format we want to receive data from server. In fifth option, we have write before send callback function, this function has been called before send of ajax request. Under this function we have write, dollar with button id admin login with value method and under this we have write validate it will change button text after this we want to disable submit button so here we have write dollar with button id admin login with attribute method and under this we have write disabled it will disabled submit button Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function, first we have write if statement, and under condition we have write data.success, if login details validate successfully, then it will execute this block of code. Under this block, we have write location dot ref is equal to dollar base URL variable with admin folder name, it will redirect to index page of admin folder. Now we have again write if statement and under condition we have write data dot error, if there is any login validation error has occurred then it will execute this block of code. Under this block, first we have write dollar with submit button id admin login, with value method and under this we have write login, it will again change submit button text from validate to login. Now we want to enable submit button, so here we have write, dollar with submit button id admin login with attribute method, and under this we have write attribute disabled set to false, it will enable submit button. Below this, we have write if statement and under condition we have write, data.error admin username variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar with span tag id error admin username with text method, under this we have write data dot error admin username variable, it will display username validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error admin username with text method with blank method, it will clear username validation error.
Now we have again, right if statement and under condition we have right, data dot error admin password variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error admin password with text method, under this we have write data dot error admin password variable, it will display password field validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, under this block we have write, dollar with span tag id error admin password with text method, with blank value, it will clear text from this span tag. Friends here we can see in browser, we have enter base url with admin folder name slash, login.php, then on web page we can see login form on web page. So in this part we have discuss front end of admin login, in next part we will write PHP script for validate admin login details, and send back success or error response to Ajax request. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.